Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie and this is the Jackie and the Leafstock channel where we talk about houseplants. In today's video, I'm going to be repotting my string of hearts. Um, I noticed a couple weeks ago that when I was bottom watering the plant, it was no longer absorbing water all the way to the top layer of soil. And I had a hunch that the plant was root bound I did pick this plant up at the beginning of summer 2020 so it has been in the same nursery pot for a while so sure enough when I took the nursery pot off um, my hunch was correct and I just needed to give this plant a new home and new soil. So String of Hearts store their water in these things called tubulars they look like just really fat rocks so that's what i'm pointing out here in the video as for the soil mixture i just use my regular base of soil coco coir perlite horticultural charcoal um, and then i mixed in some orchid bark I mentioned in my previous video I wasn't a fan of the one that I picked up because it's just really chunky but I did need to add a little bit more um, drainage components for the string of hearts. So for the most part, I don't really like to mess with the root system of plants when I am repotting, especially with plants that are just a little bit more delicate and sensitive. My main concern was getting the dry, crusty layer off of the top, and that itself was hard, so I just decided that once I put it in the pot, I was just going to make sure that I gave it a good, fresh layer of soil on top. So the string of hearts was originally in a four inch hanging pot, um, nursery pot. That is how it came when I purchased it and I just left it there for the past couple months. But now I'm transferring it into a Berg's pot. I believe this pot was five um, inches, but it was deeper. So it was the perfect um, amount of space for the string of hearts to eventually grow into. So once I had the plant in the pot how I wanted it, um, I went ahead and filled around the edges and I made sure to push the soil down and then just continue to fill. You can see that there are multiple tubulars there and I just wanted to make sure that they were all covered and they all had a fresh amount of soil surrounding them. A couple care tips for the string of hearts is one they require a lot of light so I had mine hanging in a west-facing window 
um, since the time that I got it and I think it was a good amount of light in the summer the heat could be pretty intense um, since it was right next to the window so that's something to take into consideration um, you don't want to burn the leaves and that was something that I just had to be careful with Two, depending on how much sun and light it's getting um, is going to dictate how often you need to water in the summer I would water about every two weeks and now I'm watering about every three weeks now that it's winter but once I got the hang of the plant I could just tell by the weight of the plant and also the heart would begin to shrivel towards the top so the more mature hearts began to wrinkle and that's when I knew it needed a drink. So I do prefer to bottom water the string of hearts and along with that when I fertilize I will just add a very diluted amount into the bowl that I am going to place the string of hearts in. Um, I do this about every other time I water the plant during the summer and I pull back on fertilizing during the winter. It really just depends on how much growth is coming from the plant. I know I said that I bottom water, but because I'm repotting the plant, I just need to make sure that there's no air pockets or areas that I need to backfill with soil. So the flow from the watering can just helps me see those areas that I need to go back in and possibly add more soil to. So now that I finished repotting, I attempted to untangle the plant, which is just a very tedious and time consuming task. Crazy Plant Guy has a beautiful string of hearts and I remember watching one of his videos and he basically said there's no trick to it. I literally just untangle it constantly. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and please let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this style of video. I know I personally like it but I also want to know what you guys think. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our plant community and I'll catch you in my next video guys. Bye!